all the accountants all the admin assistants all the doctors all the nurses all the all those professions out there if you are established in your field do not lose hope you might need to be a little bit patient but it's possible i am a living testimony you guys Hi. welcome to nana's channel uh you guys i got a job ah! i got a new job you guys and i'm so excited i am super excited you guys getting a job here in canada is hard especially a job in your field it's really hard but it's possible i just got a job in my field and you guys oh my gosh i am so excited for this job okay i have just been in school 24 7 like 24 7. so after i finished high school i went to uh college and i did my undergraduate Thank goodness I passed so well, huh? Hey? Mama gave me some good brains, you guys. Beauty and brains. So I passed well and um, I became a teaching assistant. Started doing my master's at a university and um, yeah, got promoted. Started doing my PhD at as well and then I was done. I was like you guys I am not like the school environment was just too much for me I couldn't help it I've been going to school my whole life studies one after the other and then my job is just the same thing oh my gosh like I was done I needed a break so for me to get that break I decided to move to Canada but guess what my easiest way to migrate to canada was through going to school visitors visa okay but you can only be here for six months you're not allowed to go to school you're not allowed to work i was looking for options that could give me a minimum of two years take the necessary break decide if i want to go back to kenya to my job or not okay that was the plan now you guys I applied for a student permit. I was running away from uh, a school environment. Guess what? I came to Canada, the same thing. I had to go to school. And I had to stay in school. Otherwise, the school would contact IRCC and I would be deported back to Kenya. So those who are planning to come to Canada as students, at Imnasema, oh, I will get the student permit. Once I get to Canada, I will just start working and drop school because school is expensive. Hey, it's not that easy. It's not. If you don't go to school here, the university will contact IRCC, university or college or whatever. They're supposed to contact IRCC. IRCC will look for you and you'll be deported. So you have no option. You have to go to school if you come here as a student. So I came to Canada as a student and you know what? Back to school. So I was leaving one school to the next. School will follow me the rest of my life. So you guys, I had to stay in school. So I stayed in school here in Canada for like two and a half years. I was looking into doing something that would benefit me after graduating. Once I decided that I wanted to stay in Canada. So I wanted a course other than MBA because I came here to do a master's in business administration I did one semester of it and then I decided that I uh, know I want to do something that would contribute towards the degrees that I had back home so I changed the course so a whole semester wasted you know just like that money and whatever wasted i don't see it as wasted as much because like there are courses that i did that i really enjoyed i got one exemption once i changed the course so that was that was nice so i changed the course and the course was running for two years so i was starting afresh so i started january of 2020 okay and then that's when covid also hit and uh you know some classes were offered online some classes were not available online so sometimes i took the bare minimum also the other thing is uh for summer semester i took 
uh, summer off because I wanted to make money to pay my school fee. So when you come to Canada as a student, for summer semester, you're allowed to work full-time. We were allowed to work full-time. So I chose to work full-time, save, 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 so that I can pay for the next two semesters and have no problem with tuition or school fees. So that's what I did. And that's why my education lasted longer than I expected. Anyways, I ended up graduating. Um, yeah. So I started looking for a job in my field, what I went to school for. And with international degrees, like a lot of employers here, they prefer employing uh, Canadians. And I think that's also a way to protect Canadian jobs for Canadians, which makes total sense, but not to an immigrant like myself. I'm like, I'm qualified. Some of the jobs I was applying for, they actually just need certificates or diplomas or even a high school degree. So I was way overqualified for those jobs, but still I wouldn't get them. So I just like continued doing um, healthcare. That is what I could get and could like support myself. And then you guys, 2024, God is good. God is good. I got a job. I got a job in my field you guys oh my gosh i am so excited for this job like you guys have no idea i'm an office girl you know i want to dress up i want to do my makeup i want to look cute when i'm going to work you know with healthcare you wear whatever sweats it's so comfortable actually and i miss it but i miss my office i miss my office wear you guys so I got a job you guys whoop, whoop. i am so excited i already started um i i got some orientation like i've been trained I've, i was being trained of course like it's a new company you have to be trained and i'm just enjoying it you know like a job that you enjoy i'm just enjoying it i'm like yes i was made for this i just love it the other thing is um, the job I got is in a post-secondary institution. So you see, you remember I said I was running away from a university and education environment. That's where I've gotten back to. You know, I was running away from it, but it's not leaving me alone. So when I got off at this job, I was like, Lord, am I destined? Am I running away from my destiny? Because it's just been a school environment like forever, as long as I remember, as long as I started going to school, it's been school, 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 whether learning or working. I am not complaining because now I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it even more than I loved my previous job. The thing is, in Kenya, I was teaching. I was in a teaching position, but here, I'm not teaching. I am practicing it. Whoo! Oh my gosh, I love my job. Like, I look forward every single morning to go to work. And my colleagues, they are the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, oh my gosh, I really, I really thank God. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to make this about myself. Anyway, I've taken like almost nine, 10 minutes of talking about myself. But the key thing I want to tell people who are already established in their, um, how do you call it? Their professions outside Canada and they want to move to Canada. Do not lose hope it is very possible i'm definitely not the first person who has been employed in her field or like the field i used to work in in kenya i'm definitely not the, the first never am i the last i have friends who got accounting jobs way like immediately after graduation they already had their accounting jobs so yeah it's possible the only thing is you have to uh be patient the other thing is you also have to like um, live in places that have got demand for such professions 
you see i was living in a very rural area and um I, and as much as i was applying for jobs in my field i couldn't get i couldn't i don't know i don't know if i don't know why maybe there were not just enough jobs in that place i was living in because i moved i applied for three jobs in my field and two of the three asked me for references after um of course after interview um and then one uh actually uh gave me the job and then you guys i am a public servant ha oh my gosh i'm a public servant i'm working for a public institution who i don't know if that's a good thing but i'm just so happy i have accepted it you guys i've accepted my calling i have accepted my destiny education environment it is now they say you don't announce your plans you announce your arrivals so all i want to say is uh, god is good god has been so great to me and i cannot complain at all i'm really so happy i'm at a space whereby i am extremely grateful and extremely happy for the goodness that god has shown me regardless of the pr rejection i am so i mean i'm at a good place and i'm telling you out there if you are established in your field do not lose hope you might need to be a little bit patient but it's possible i am a living testimony you guys if you want to come here and continue with what you have been doing back home it is still possible you can do it you will just have to be a little bit patient and also you have to be smart in terms of like where do you want to live and uh, this place that i live in are there enough jobs okay all the accountants all the admin assistants all the doctors all the nurses all the all those professions out there let me know in the comment section if it is your dream to move abroad whether canada australia um us let me know in the comment section okay and i will tell you how anyways you guys without making this video too long thank you so much for uh clicking this video please remember to subscribe and share the video thank you and see you in my next video